volume of the prism. Okay, we've got a prism. It's a triangular prism. That's quite nice for us. It's a right triangle. So with a pr all prisms, you work out the area of the cross section. That's the end of the prism, which is the same shape all the way through, and you just tie by the length. The end of this prism is a triangle, which is six by four. And the most obvious trap that people do is just do the six times four, which is 24, and forget to half it, because that is the area of a rectangle that's six by four. To get the triangle, we need to halve that, which is 12. Once we have that, we've got 12 times the height or length of the prism, which is 16. And uh, you can use a calculator for that, obviously, but that's 192. Is state the units of your answer here. So this four marks, three of them is for the 192, and there's one mark for doing the units of volume, which is centimeters cubed. Be very careful to remember when you're doing triangles to half, simple triangles to get the area, and also units of it, of volume, uh, cubic units, because you're measuring the volume in cubes.